everyone. Welcome to our reading of Nate the Great. This is the first book in a series by Marjorie Weinman Charmant, and it's illustrated by Mark Simon. This book is about a second grader named Nate, who is a self-named detective. He likes to solve mysteries for his friends and neighbors. And we are reading this book in four videos. This is video number three. Uh, if you have not watched video number two, one and video number two, I hope you'll go back and watch those before you watch this one and find out what's been going on in this story. This is Nate, the second grade detective, and Nate is um, on a case for his friend Annie. Annie has drawn a picture of her yellow dog whose name is Fang and she cannot find the picture. The picture is lost. And Nate the Great is following all the clues to find the lost picture. And today I have some guests in my video. I have Rowan here. Hello. And Rowan will be helping me read and answering questions as we go. And I also have Isaac here. Hello. And Isaac will also be making predictions and confirming or denying those predictions and answering questions as we read. In the first video, we started where the text starts on page 7 in the first video, and we read in that first video over to page 20. Hopefully you've watched that video. In video number 2, we started here on page 21, and we read over until we got to page 38 where our bookmark is today. We'll actually start back on page 38 real quick so you can catch up with us and what clues we're following. And then we'll continue on to read video number three of the first book in the series, Nate the Great. There were pictures everywhere. Pictures of cats. Sitting cats, standing cats, Cats in color and in black and white. We sat down. Little Hex jumped onto Annie's lap. Plain Hex jumped onto Rosamond's lap. Big Hex jumped onto my lap. Rowan, do you remember whose house Nate the Great and Annie have gone to and whose house this is that has all these cat pictures? Rosamond's. This is Rosamond's house. She's one of Annie's friends, and Annie and Nate have followed clues in their mystery to come to Rosamond's house. And then she has let them know that she has another mystery for them to solve along the way, that one of her cats is missing. I did not like Big Hex. Big Hex did not like me. Time to go, I said. We just got here, Annie said. She liked Little Hex. Time to go, I said again. I stood up. I tripped over something. It was long and black. It was a cat's tail. Meow! Super Hex! Rosamond cried. Isaac, was her cat really missing? No. Where had her cat been, Isaac? Under the couch. Under the chair where Nate the Great was sitting. Well, there's a mystery solved. You found him. You are a detective. Of course, I said. He was under my chair, except for his tail. Annie and I left. It was a hard thing to do. I could smell pancakes in Rosamond's kitchen. Rowan, why did smelling pancakes make it hard for Nate to leave? Because... Isaac, why did smelling pancakes make it hard for Nate the Great to leave Rosamond's house? Because Nate the Great likes pancakes. 
because Nate the Great loves pancakes. And so even though he does not like cats or even really Rosamond, he wanted to stay and eat pancakes once he smelled them. Rosamond did not take the picture of your dog, I said. Rosamond only likes cats and pancakes. Oh, excuse me. Rosamond only likes cats and pancakes. Now where is your brother Harry? I met Annie's brother. He was small. He was covered with red paint. Me paint, he said. Me paint you. Good, I said. No one has ever painted a picture of me, Nate the Great. Harry took his paintbrush. It was covered with red paint. All at once, I was covered with red paint. Rowan, what happened? Nate was covered in red paint. And who did it? Well, how did Nate get covered in red paint? Isaac, how did Nate get covered in red paint? Annie's um, brother um, painted him. So, Nate the Great thought he was talking about painting a picture of him but Henry, Annie's brother, actually was talking about painting on him. He painted you, <coughs> Annie said. He painted you. Then she laughed. I, Nate the Great, did not laugh. I was on a case. I had a job to do. I looked around the room. Harry had painted a clown, a house, a tree, and a monster with three heads. He had also painted part of the wall, one slipper and a doorknob. He does very good work, I said. But where is my picture? Annie asked. That is a good question, I said. All I need is a good answer. Where was the picture of Fang? I could not find it. Fang did not have it. Rosamond did not have it. Harry did not have it. Or did he? All at once, I knew I had found the lost picture. Isaac, do you have a prediction about where Nate thinks the picture is? On the roof. Isaac thinks on the roof. What makes you think that, Isaac? Because he's pointing up. Okay, that's Isaac's prediction. We will either confirm or deny that prediction. Rowan, do you have a prediction where you think Nate the Great believes the painting to be? At the wall. Seems like they'd see it if it was on the wall, but that's possible. Let's see. <clears throat> I had found the lost picture, I said. I, Nate the Great, have found your picture. You have? Annie said. Where? That's the end of video three. We hope you've enjoyed <clears throat> this little part of video three, part three of Nate the Great. And we hope that you will come back to read the conclusion with us and find out where Nate the Great thinks the picture is and if he's right. Come back for video four of the first book in the series, Nate the Great by Marjorie Weinman Charmant illustrated by Mark Simon.